In other news, a woman fights for her life as a stranger beats her and drags her onto a busy freeway in what police are calling a random attack at a metro station in Pasadena. Well, by now you've heard the headline, but today KTLA's Kimberly Chang is live in Pasadena with a look at whether the metro's investment in security cameras is really doing anything to prevent violent crimes. Kimberly? Hi, many Metro passengers are worried after hearing about another brutal, unprovoked attack that happened here in Pasadena a couple of weeks ago. Today we spoke with Metro and they're responding to some of those concerns. So somebody called in uh, to report that there was an incident happening at the station. Immediately what happens once an incident like that gets reported is um, whether it be our CCTV observers or our security operations center will immediately pull that uh, station CCTV up on the screen to get a better understanding of what's happening uh, in real time. Um, subsequent to that happening also, law enforcement resources are dispatched uh, to that incident. So we got the call, CCTV camera was pulled up and law enforcement was dispatched. This is chilling video of a woman being attacked and thrown onto the 210 freeway, all captured on Metro's camera system. It happened the morning of August 7th at the Allen Metro station in Pasadena. The attack believed to be unprovoked. Now, according to Metro, security cameras are installed across the system to monitor and deter criminal activity. But in this instance, they obviously did not deter the suspect. We asked Metro about those cameras, who's monitoring them and how often. Carlos Rico, Metro System Security and Law Enforcement senior manager says cameras are being watched 24 7 at its rail operation center. According to Metro, there was a seven minute response time from when law enforcement was dispatched and responded to the scene. But in that time, the victim was beaten, punched, kicked, and thrown onto the freeway inches from oncoming traffic. So we, we have surged law enforcement you know, and uniform personnel throughout the system. Um, since that surge, we have seen a decrease in crime across the board, and we've seen an increase in arrest for trespassing. So the surge is working. Um, we have uh, minimized crime and particularly violent crime. Now, what I would point out is that, you know, beyond uh, Metro, we are dealing with a lot of societal issues and mental health crisis, um, substance abuse, right? And so those are issues that go beyond Metro's capabilities. The Sheriff's Department did arrest 33-year-old Juan Pablo Flores. In this case, he was charged with attempted murder. The Sheriff's Department said the victim may suffer long-term disfigurement. Now, Rico says since that attack, they have increased security presence, though he declined to give specifics. Uh, Metro leaders have been working on increased safety measures after several violent incidents this year. In May, Metro officials ordered a surge in security and uniform law enforcement presence on trains and buses. Rico says a surge did lead to a decrease in crimes against persons. Those are the crimes that harm people like battery or, or assault. But he pointed out that, as you heard, there are societal and mental health and substance abuse issues that go beyond Metro's capability. Now, meanwhile, Supervisor Catherine Barger, who is a Metro board director, sent us a statement saying in part, there's been nearly 2,000 arrests since surge deployments began with trespassing and narcotics violations being the top issues. By enforcing our code of conduct, I believe we're preventing sense attacks and back here live there are pilot safety programs that they are monitoring including having riders tap to exit we're also told that the board has approved technology to test a weapons detection system and that pilot will begin in September reporting live in Pasadena Kimberly Chang KTLA 5 news all right Kimberly thanks for that